Hello everyone and welcome to SH Digital Media Global's new episode. Today we are going to speak about one of the brands which is one of the most underrated brands and one of the models which is underrated as well. Now we have already reviewed for you Diamond series of Waffadale. Today we are going to talk about Waffadale D330. Even though Waffadale is a well-known brand, this is not the brand which we get most inquiries for. Even though it doesn't seem cost-effective like Paul Cordio or does not come to the sound signature of Klipsch, this is one of the most budget-friendly in this price range. If smoothness of the sound signature is a feature, Waffadale D330 sounds like a fluffy marshmallow. That is one of the best things about this speaker. Like most of the floor standing speakers and or any speakers, you need to give it a little bit of time for your ears to get adjusted to it. Once your ears are adjusted to the speaker, you are going to love the sound signature it provides. When you look at it, it's classy, minimal, has no sharp edges and it's scratch resistant as well. Now this stylish floor standing speaker is a 2.5 way speaker instead of two or three way. Let me explain. Two-way speaker has a two-way crossover for bass, mid and high frequencies. When it comes to a three-way speaker, it has a three driver and three crossover for bass, mid and high frequencies. But this one has a 2.5-way crossover. Now, the Waffadale D330 has two types of drivers and three crossovers. Now, this one has two 5-inch woven Kevlar drivers which looks extravagant and stylish. One is for bass frequencies and one is for mid to high frequencies. And this one has a 1-inch soft dome treater as well. Now, the bass response is from 40 to 20 kilohertz, which is reasonably low for a 5-inch driver. The recommended amplifier power should be between 25 to 120 watts. The sound sensitivity is low like most of the Waffadale series products, which is 88 decibel, which means you need to crank up the volume a little bit higher to fill up the room with the sound. And the nominal impedance is around 4 ohms. It has a base reflex cabinet and the firing port which is actually underneath and this is not actually visible uh, unless and until there is a, if you touch the groove, there is a groove underneath the panel. Now this has a bi-amping port which if your amplifier supports bi-amping, it's the most minimum thing to do to increase the sound definition. This has a magnetic removable friend grills as well and if you are someone who enjoys low music like jazz and soft music, this is one of the best speakers you can go for. Now, as we know, one of the features which makes it uh, stand out from brands like Klipsch and Yamo is that Klipsch and Yamo has a big driver size. So you require a lot of acoustic paneling in your home theater. But this speaker, this Waffadale D330 gives you the uh, freedom of having very minimal acoustically treated walls as well. If you are someone who is looking into starting with your home theater and want to do very minimal acoustic paneling and wants to go for a good or a low budget speaker, this is the one for you, Waffadale D330. And uh, unless and until you have given Waffadale a chance or listen to the sound output it has, you will not know what we are talking about. So please give it a chance and try to listen to Waffadale products or the speakers and I am sure you will fall in love with them like we do. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video also. Like we always bring new content and interesting topics to talk about. We'll be bringing more products to review or to tell you the specifications also. So till then, stay tuned, stay updated, take care.